When I first started middle school, they gave me a bunch of books for all of my classes. I originally hadn't given much thought as to how I was going to carry them around, because my mom got me a book bag that looked like this, and it had a strap that went over your shoulder like this. It seemed okay, it was perfectly logical and comfortable to carry, with easy access to all of your stuff, but all the big cool kids at school said that it looked like a purse, and so they started calling me Book Bag Baby, Bag Fag, and Fag Bag Douchebag. I wasn't into calling attention to myself, so I started watching the way the big cool kids carried their books. For the most part, they all carried their books under one arm, which I gathered was for several reasons. For one, a person carrying just a few books gives off the impression that they are not overly interested in school, but also if they do happen to have a lot of books, carrying them under one arm gives them the opportunity to show off their Herculean strength. But I guess the most important reason was it left one arm free to swing back and forth while strutting, because most of the older cool kids would walk down the school hallways like So anyway, I started carrying my books like a big cool kid, and for a while I started even trying to walk like a big cool kid. I guess the only part I neglected to take into account was that I was neither big nor cool, and so that all that happened was I instantly became a target to get my books dumped. So I started trying a few other methods for carrying my books. First, I tried carrying a few books under each arm because I figured I could still attempt to strut, but it would be better weight distribution for heavy loads of books, but then I discovered that I was now a two-for-one target to get my books dumped. Next, I tried to get a better grip on my books by holding them against my chest like this, which wound up being a very bad idea for a number of reasons. First, unbeknownst to me, there seems to be an unwritten but nonetheless common knowledge that this is the way that girls carry their books. So now, not only was I considered the least heterosexual person of all time, I also found that my adversaries were annoyed that I made it less convenient for them to dump my books, and they became much more aggressive because they now had to shove me around and pry my arms apart so they could dump my books. My older brother, who was equally as dorky as I was, but far less self-conscious about it, suggested I transport my books like he did, which was to wheel them around on a little luggage cart like this. My only theory as to why people didn't bother him about that was they were so aghast that anyone would do anything so nerdy they simply didn't know how to deal with it. I declined and instead resorted to going around with no books at all, which helped as I had no books to dump, the only drawback being that I started to fail all my classes. Anyway, as a last resort, I got a backpack. After I learned that you shouldn't put the straps over both of your shoulders because it had this loop thing on the top that people could grab onto and knock you on your ass, I just started slinging it over one shoulder. This was good and anonymous because it's how just about everybody carries their books at school, but it's also kind of a drag because it's how just about everybody carries their books at school.